card. I mean, yeah. you guys need coordinating and needing words. Because I have all the feet that I want. And I love, I love like food and I love cooking, so I always just make myself snacks. Mm. Wait, what is it again? Okay, it, he's a nine, but he, he wears the same puffer jacket every single day and he refuses to take it off. So he's literally out with your mates and he's wearing this puffer jacket, just sitting there when everyone else is like, <laughs> it's summer, like, I'm having a few drinks and he just, you don't know why he's wearing it. And you're like, why don't you take it off? He's like, oh, I went in a bit. <laughs> I'd be like, why do you always wear the blue for jacket? <laughs> <laughs> You'd interrogate him about and then it. it would depend on his reaction to that, where if I could slag him about it, then it's fine. If he was really insecure, he, it was a real secret. He goes, don't worry about but, it. Like, imagine if you ask him, just like, stands up and walks away. Uh, what? Like, imagine if you ask him, just like, stands up and walks away. Yeah, yeah. When, someone's like, when someone's like, he's a 10, do you think of a person? Yeah. yeah. Like, no face comes to mind, is that it? Yeah, yeah, no, it does. Because I'm like, people who I think are like, so extraordinarily yeah. good looking. You see, because that's the thing, when somebody's really, really good looking, you think sometimes, you're like, oh, nothing could undermine that. He These are nine. the first things you're learning about the person. Like, you know I mean? six, seven? Seven with the coat thing. Okay, he looks like Damon Albarn in the 90s. It's Then, if it was a nice puffer jacket, Okay, I'll say like I, didn't, yeah, I didn't specify what sort of puffer jacket. Yeah, that's too harsh for the puffer jacket. Someone can be nice. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, like yeah I think we're too hard. It's like because cool. it would be a thing if he came in, it would be funny almost like you, you're you just going out with the coat for the first few times. And you're just like, yeah. and his, your mates are just being like, here, why is he always wearing the coat? And it's just a bit of a laugh. You can kind of slag him about it when he's not around because like, you don't really know yeah, what the Yeah, and it is. could be like an endearing thing or just like a little quirky house. That's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I just think he had safe. body issues or something like that. I'd be like, oh, or like, like it just yeah. makes you feel safe, if yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go for like a whopping seven. I'm, I only just put, well, I just based on personal experience, like experience. Okay, okay. Oh, no, no, no. no. Okay. Okay. He's, he's, a, he's a nine, but he has like Star Wars posters around his room. Because he loves Star Wars. Oh, that wouldn't bother me too much, to be honest. Okay. Yes. That would be a whopping four for me because I just think it's so unattractive when people are. That would be an ick. Like, that would actually be a that that straight away ick. I think yeah, it's so yeah, unattractive. But it wouldn't bother me that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But you see, an ick is like end of story. Like, uh, as in yeah. curtains. Yeah. Curtains. Curtains. Yeah. <laughs> um, He's a four, but he writes poetry and it's like the best poetry you've ever heard. Okay, an eight, seven or an eight? Seven. Seven. I know someone like that. I know, I wouldn't say he's a four, but he's just a four for me because I find him really like unattractive. Okay, he's just fair. so the opposite of my type. The you thing is as well, some people don't care about looks. So that's actually a real fact. Some people Who actually people, doesn't care about looks. So many people. Like, well, I, as in, I I've seen like, so many super hot girls with these hot lads that are fucking yeah. ugly. Well, like, like they're twos no, and the girl is like a nine ten. Girls right. look like girls are attracted to energy and how someone carries themselves not how someone because girls are just less wired to be just like look at kind of less wired to be like less shallow yeah. so like guys would like look at a girl and be like oh she's so sexy and then they'd be instantly attracted because we think things are cool we like movement exactly, exactly like yeah, even yeah. on my boyfriend list it's like he has a suave walk because that's what attracts me yeah like your man that i was seeing I was so attracted to him because he had a suave walk. Yeah. And I would just think about his walk and I was like, I want more. Yeah. And like, like, even another guy, I remember we were at a, at a pub and he went like this. He had his legs crossed and he was like this. And I just was like, oh, I want to jump on him because that is so hot. Yeah. Like the way their mannerisms are so hot. Or like, even the, those, way, they, the way they smoke a cigarette or something like and that. And their you know confidence I mean? as yeah. well. Their confidence is so yeah. hot. And like, if, yeah, so I think it's totally like. Yeah, so when we're, we're talking about like, tent. Or like what they're wearing and everything. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because like, for example, Paul Dano, he's like objectively like kind of ugly, but the way he carries himself and the stuff he wears is so hot. So he's like a nine, do you know what I mean? Oh, I'm, I hear you. Okay. Well, so that's why no one knows the female gaze because we're so like, it depends on like what kind of person they are yeah. rather than like because a guy would be like big tits like big eyes like small nose big lips do you know what i mean not well, for we, any guy we, but we value general. as well things that are like you know what i mean dumb what we consider like domineering kind of personality traits so like i would be really well i don't know it depends from girl to girl obviously but like i love like the loudest man at the table do you know what but i mean like the quietest guy in the room yeah so so yeah interesting Don't laugh. 
Hi, um, this is Sophia from Dublin City Airport Security. Hello, can you hear me? Sorry, this is Sophia from Dublin City Airport Security. Is this Nicole Keeley? Yeah. So, I just want to inform you that we have been replaying our security system. And we have spotted you on our cameras with suspicious activity. Hello. It's terrible. Oh, she can't no, that louder. Sally Rooney. Am I? Do your impression of your mom. Of who? Of Sally Rooney. Of Connell, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. No, like you, Connell. Mia, you. Uh, Connell, it's terrible. <laughs> it's very troubling. It's very troubling. It's very troubling. It's so stupid. I bet if, I bet if we went to college together, you'd pretend not to know me. I would never need to pretend not to know you, Connell. So good. I'm so good at you this. Actually so good. Good. It's a stupid writing. It is, yeah. For the record, so I like love her so much, and I read everything she did. Did you notice when I, I was recording? Writing is so bad. It's so you stupid. You haven't even read it, man. It, I just think it's so stupid, man. Like I literally can't say anything. I think Key it's so. Bag. I literally have like the thought police here. It's like 1984, guys. Says so I think in my personal opinion, I think Sally Rooney's really an idiot, and she doesn't know how to write. Well, who would you compare her to? That like. Who does like what she does better? Books overall are just stupid. Like, uh, oh, so stupid. They're all just so, so pretentious. Stupid. Like, people just yeah, pretend to read for the look so of it. Stupid. Like, stupid and like the characters are so bad and everything. All the characters are like the same. Like, just watch authentic YouTube videos exactly. on people's like, lives. Like, Love Island is so much better. <laughs> so much better. <laughs> but like, yeah, in all seriousness, like, it must be so hard to like write characters who are so different from each other, though. Yeah, because you're writing about yourself. Yeah, like she says, like literally, like she feels that she is Connell. She feels like she is Marianne. Yeah, she obviously. Is Francis. Like. I would find it so hard to write a character who's different from myself. Yeah, me too. Like, well, polar opposite, you know Yeah, because you, yeah. you wouldn't really be able to write anyone in detail of someone else. No. I think it's probably really easy to write characters, like, in the past tense, rather than, like, I was doing this, and when I did... Uh, it would be more like, I did this when I was this age, and then I did this, and then this, rather than, like, I walk to the shop, I buy strawberries, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I feel like it's much easier to do in the past tense, because... Generally. Who's your favourite uh, author? Um, like honestly, either Sally Rooney or Sally Flat. Isn't that really indie? This. Yeah, you need to stop listening to Sally Flat. That's fucking awful. Like. I don't listen to Sally Flat. Or reader, whatever the fuck. He's fuming. Fuming. No, but like, I feel like people who are obsessed with Sally Flat, it's just like they just love the romanticizing it. Like, oh yeah. In of like depression, because so it's like put in such a beautiful way, so it yeah, thinks exactly. it's beautiful, but yeah. it's not. It's the it's the dire like. Shit of it. Classic. Oh yeah, like intoxicated with madness. I'm in love with my sadness. Like that's one of her fucking. Lines. Yeah, it's just like no. But it's pretty though. But like I think like it's pretty, but you can't identify yourself with it, or else you're fucked. Like for me, like I've seen you mental illness like, through with it, my whole side of yeah, my of family, course. and you see how it destroys. But like it's not meant to be healthy. Like not everything has to be healthy. Anymore. No, like, but like exists, yeah. yeah, but you have to acknowledge that it's unhealthy. Yeah. I feel like I'm well people, aware. I, I feel like people romanticize things so much and normalize it so much that it, that they that they don't even look at it anymore as something that's unhealthy. They look at it as like because they're so identified with it that it's like, oh, but like that's my life. And you I think in and they the way the world their is lifestyle. now, it's like we need excuses for bad behavior. Mm. So it's like we instead of like trying to like discipline ourselves and exactly. look at the bad things that we've done, Especially we're like, oh well, I was depressed, so like my depression like has a thing to do with that. But like for me, I'm like. The reason why I disappear like some weeks and I don't talk to anyone is because I know I'm not a nice person when I'm exactly, really, really me too. depressed. Me too. So I'm like safeguarding myself so I don't do Same. bad actions or put loved ones through Same. that. That's like what the bell jar is about. Like she's a horrible person to so many people in her life because she's depressed. But like she doesn't even know that she is because like it's not talked about enough. Yeah, but you have to kind of And it's the confusion that her life is going so well but she still feels so terrible. It, it really it's is good to have book, a reason though. to why you're you're obviously being shitty, but then you have to, like, not be like, oh well, that's why I'm shitty. Well, that that's just who I am. Yeah. You have to have the, you know, the, you know, you have to have the whatever to be like. I need to change that. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's that, and that should be your motivation. I want to better myself because I don't want to be a shitty person. I want to better myself because I want to be, I want to, you know, infiltrate the world with my joy. Mm. 
Do you know what I mean? And I think because the world's a b such a bad place that we kind of succumb to it and just uh, like accept that things are bad and never going to be good. Exactly. But at the same time, like we are here and like you have to make some aspects of it good and want to enjoy some part of it. Yeah, exactly. Because if it's not good, well, then what's the point? Well, then what the fuck's the point? And like you either choose to just not have a point and that's your choice or it's just kind of like, right, well, I'm going to continue on for a good bit more, but let's make part of it enjoyable so it's worth the exactly. time. Exactly. Do you know that kind of way? Yeah. Don't know well, if that anyway, that I really like like you, yeah. you really liked both of us really liked that thing that she said in that interview about like how um like this idea that you can like improve yourself and you're a sustainable person on your own is complete fiction. Um and that like this idea that you can just um kind of quarantine yourself from the real world mm -hmm. and like have love self love and stuff mm -hmm. like that um, yeah. is entirely bullshit in my mm -hmm. opinion like uh, yeah. other people are literally the only source of happiness you can really get I, in I, some I ways but like um like I, you always talk about how the happiness is inside yourself mm -hmm. like yeah. god is inside you and all that kind of stuff um and i agree to a certain extent but like also i think like without other meaningful relationships in your life what the fuck are you doing yeah i feel like they can i feel like they can help you access those parts of yourself but yeah. at the end of the day you're not going to connect with people if you're not in the right headspace yeah. you're not yeah. going to be able to connect with other people if you don't make the change within yourself and access that joy within yourself you're not going to you're it, it, yeah. it completely depends on your perspective of the world how you connect with other people yeah. and how you enjoy your life so i feel like it it's uh, when people are like oh you don't need anyone else that's kind of bullshit but like it's like, at the end of the day, you it, it's a necessity to be able to be by yourself and mm. to be able to be alone mm. and not Especially to, not overly now. depend on other people. Mm. Yeah. It's just balance within everything. But she's also I mean? saying that like even if you don't like even if you like fucking lock yourself in a room and stuff like that and never talk to anybody, you're still dependent on other people. Like some people have to farm the, the food that you eat. Some people have to oh, pick hugely, the cotton yeah. like, yeah. on the clothes of your back. But yeah. like, like we're we're essentially and ignoring like, that is an entirely like class and stuff. But who do you do. think ignores that? I think most people do. I think a lot of people... Hell. Like, they're not acknowledging the fact that, like, oh, they view themselves as, like, oh, I'm, 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 it's, like, me against the world, but, like, no, there's, like, so but many people are paying, like, every moment of your leisure is paid for by somebody else's misery mm -hmm. in the global south. No, but I think people don't, I think that's a, it's not an actual belief. I think it's, a, like, a survive, survival thing. It's kind of, like... It's oh, not a belief, it's a fact. I... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, though. No, but, like... People would say like, oh, well, I have myself and that's all I need and blah, blah, blah. I don't need anyone else. But I don't believe that that's a true core belief. They might think that, but like subconsciously they're protecting themselves because they don't want to let anyone in. They but don't I think whatever. even like trying to believe that is just fiction. But it's that's, an, what it's a, but it's that's a stupid what I'm, thing to do. But that's what I'm trying to say. It's a protection thing. They're well, to want themselves. to want to be independent, I don't think is is uh, obviously you acknowledge I feel like the people who say that obviously know that they need obviously other people for eating yeah. and everything yeah. but I think that it's 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 like they mean it in a way where it's like Cause from their their you know the, the goal is to be independent in in some way do you know what I mean yeah. in the, the most way that they can is to be independent do you know what I mean and to like be able to self soothe and take care of themselves yeah. do you know what I mean okay. to not um, be in like an emotion in an emotional way yeah do you know what I mean I, 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 I'm thinking more in like a kind of practical. broader practical like yeah. economic sense rather yeah. than an emotional sense but yeah. more when people are saying that they mean it in an emotional yeah. sense they but don't mean like oh I yeah, think that I, but I, mean? I think that should impact the way they emotionally handle that fact do you know what I mean no. that's kind of what I'm trying to get at I, I don't well like I think but I was like, why but how do you think that's good because it's I think well how do you think like, I'm, why I'm, do you I'm think open it's to like toxic. Mind this. Why, why do you think it's toxic that people are like you don't need anyone else to because be it's ignoring the suffering because it's unrealistic because it's untrue. But I think, like, what at the end of the day, like, from my own perspective, like, there's times where you come back to where you have all these great people around you and you have good things, but when it goes low and you can't rely on people to look after you all the time and you can't rely for, for you know, help from other people because sometimes it's just not there, mm -hmm. that you need to be able to have this kind of, like, you know, backup that you can be like, right, well, when I'm at my lowest and when I have no one to look after mm -hmm. me, I can. I still have myself. I still have myself. And at mm -hmm. the end of the day, in the climate that we're in now and in the social setting, sometimes all you have is yourself. Yeah, I, I, and I feel like you, you can only, I feel like you can only truly appreciate others, appreciate the people that are fucking yeah. picking your food off the fucking, mm. the fucking grass or whatever. I feel like you can only appreciate that when you reflect on yourself and when you kind of, 
um, know yourself and have this like self actualization. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I feel like that's I agree. when you can appreciate those things. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I completely yeah. agree. Yeah. Um, when you're not so obsessed with yourself, like when you when you're not battling with your own kind of identity and um, you know how where you stand in the world and who and you, you know are it's and important. things like that, and you know you, it's you're important. able to comprehend like what is all around you yeah. and what do mm -hmm. people do for you. And I feel like it's important <clears throat> that we keep going, oh, you only need yourself. I think that's, I don't think that's toxic. I think sometimes it's unrealistic because then you feel like, especially with like, with like romance, we're always mm. really against it. And like, oh, you should only need yourself. You should only yeah, need, I, I, think, I feel like that's unrealistic because yeah. we naturally want a partner. We well, naturally yeah. want we're to fall beings. in love. We're but like, you know what I mean? It takes a village to raise a child. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, so like, like, we need other yeah, people to, exactly. you know, sometimes you just need like we always come back to needing someone and yeah. sometimes we're in the predicaments where we don't have like anyone, loneliness is probably like love. one of the most natural feelings in the world and oh, codependency baby. is the biggest yeah. addiction uh, that we all have hugely mm. do you know what i mean it's the it's the, it's the addiction <coughs> that we all have but i think that's society's issue at the minute it's like we're kind of like nuclear families that like i don't know if that's the actual term but like um like mom families dad, who, two and mom and dad kids, yeah. two and a half kids but they've moved away from their extended family and they're like mm -hmm. independent and they have our I three friends, but they're just. Children. I think it's hard because you're lacking community, and we've been grown up like yeah, from the I think beginning. We, need we needed oh, community completely. because we didn't have. Like, so that's we didn't have and also, we it's like. And <clears throat> well, I'm gonna get really deep here, but in Slice in up. my belief is that everyone is one. So it's like yeah, you, you you know what I mean. So it's kind of like you only need yourself, you only need God, but you are everyone. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like you only need, if you can like love yourself and appreciate yourself and kind of realize where you come from and who you are, which is who you are is everyone else because yeah. we're all we're all so connected that then you can kind of love other people. Do you know what I mean? And, yeah. and recognize yourself and other people mm -hmm. because if you love yourself and you are only dependent on yourself, then you're able to kind of have a healthy dependency on other people and recognize yourself and other people and mm. truly love other people unconditionally. Mm. Not for what they give you, but for what you know what they are. Do yeah, you know I was, what I mean? Uh, yeah, exactly. And I feel like what you're saying on your I feel like when you're on your own, you're excluded from other people, you feel lonely. So you, mm. it's just the natural thing of like, well I'm the only one that feels this way yeah. or no one feels this exactly. the same as me. Mm. But then it's cuz you're isolated from society and think mm. it's from like the greater like companionship well, of other people. Well, that's also just a symptom of depression to make you feel like you're the only person who feels this way ever. Mm. Yeah, true, but I think that comes well, from like so like loneliness and isolation and things mm -hmm. like that but then when you're with like-minded people and people that you actually feel comfortable with and at one with because mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people like obviously don't get on with their families and can never feel comfortable or understood like from their early childhood and things like that and then when they get older they find people that actually understand them mm -hmm. and then they start to realize then oh I'm not the only one that feels this way mm -hmm. or me people oh they had a similar experience to me I'm not the only one has, mm -hmm. that has suffered this mm -hmm. way mm -hmm. so it's kind of like then you feel more with people and mm. feel more connected to yeah, other beings yeah. and then you can start respecting people and understanding people mm. and loving others mm. as much as you should and kind of yeah and also and, <laughs> also, and also with that thing of meeting other people as well it's like even i was saying this in my last video it's like you it's like you have to acknowledge that for example if you have your friends and mm. or you have a boyfriend a girlfriend and you're like they make me feel like this. Mm. It's recognizing that at the end of the day, that person is not what brought you this feeling. Mm. You brought that feeling yeah. because it's inside of you. Mm. That means you can you you can feel that whenever you want because it's inside of you. It's not in the other person. But I feel like a lot of people go, this person brings me this. Mm. This person brings mm. me this, mm. which is good because they actually do. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's inside of you, and other mm. people, you know, can spark anything inside of you. But there's other ways of sparking that feeling inside of. You. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think that's kind of. I find that like I understand what you're saying, but like, I also find it hard to believe to imagine that like people could like someone could do something to me, but like I'm in control of my own reaction. You are. You are. I I've never done that before. Like you know what I mean. So like that yeah. that sounds like near impossible. Like the idea of not of like not thinking that sounds like an impossible it's task. It's not thinking. But like, people say that. But it's not, not thinking. It's like, observing your thoughts because. But like no 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 that's not what I'm saying. But, like um like even like oh someone broke my heart but I'm just gonna choose not to be heartbroken. Like it's not no no, no. it's it, it's not getting rid of pain. It's getting rid of suffering, which is different. Do you know what I mean? What's the difference? It's suffering is when you kind of uh, identify yourself because basically there's thoughts running through your mind all of the time. Mm. They're not 
not yours most of the time. Right now, I say, think of a pink elephant. You think, you think of a pink elephant. Don't think of a pink elephant. Mm. You think of a pink yeah. elephant. That is not you because you're not consciously thinking of that. Mm. Those thoughts just come to you. It's just a reaction and you're or just, something. It's just you are this like canvas that's mm. being thrown all of these mm. things, and then you're just digesting it. Do you know what okay. I mean? Thoughts you they just come into you, and then you can you can digest it or you can reject it. Do you know what mm. I mean? But most of the time, we identify ourselves with those thoughts. So I, if I say you're worth this piece of shit, that's not coming from you. That's coming from my projection or my emotions sure. but then you coming start into to you. But that. then you identify with that, and then you digest it, mm. and then you go, oh, that's coming a part of me. That that thought is me. Do you know it's what like I mean? It's like when you've been I believe that. Do you know what I mean? You're like, exactly. I want to throw a brick at this window. Yeah. But exactly. I don't actually want to throw, but this thought has come to exactly. me. Exactly. Or like a lot of the time, for me, you have to kind of like realise, because you kind of think like your thoughts are not your mind. Your yeah. mind is one thing, your thoughts are another. Yeah. So it's kind of separating the two and then realising as well, if you have a mental illness, a lot of the time you're, it's your mental illness yeah. talking to. Yeah, exactly. So I can be like at home and it's like... Your pain body. I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm getting dressed, ready to leave the house. Then my anxiety is like, oh, people are going to th- look at you weird because you're yeah. wearing this or yeah. um, you look horrible today. People are going to think this about you. Mm. Da, 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 da. But I think I feel, I feel nice. And when I put mm. on the effort, I feel nice. But the minute I step out the door, it's my anxiety trying to make me feel yeah, anxious. Exactly. But it wasn't my initial thought. Exactly. So you I, need I understand to separate that completely. The two. But like, do you think there's limitations to this? Limitations? What limitations to like controlling your, um, your identification with the projections of other people's emotions. Or yeah, like, because, what are because, them? because basically, uh, like, I think what has helped me is that it just, uh, it just acknowledging that everything is, everything is made up and nothing is actually real except for love. So, like, mm. everything is made up. Like, it, it, and you can see that from the insanity of the things, the thoughts that come to you, mm. where it's like, I'll be walking down the street and if a car drives past me, I go, that car is going to drive into me. That's an insane thought. Mm. Or going, I'm embarrassed to have an umbrella because everyone's going to think I'm a weirdo and that means that I'm not lovable. That Mm. is an insane thought. That is not real. And most of the thoughts that come to us are like that. They're insane. But then if you, and because we identify with them, that then it affects our behavior and stuff like that. But if you... Sit, tr- sit with yourself in quietness, uh, quietness and observe your thoughts. You will recognize yourself because you are the observer behind those mm-hmm. thoughts. You're the mm-hmm. canvas behind those thoughts. And then you'll recognize yourself, which is that being behind, which is love. Do you know what I mean? And that is truly who you are. And it's like, to it, obviously, it's obviously not easy. Obviously, no, all of us, of obviously, all of us are like fucking, mm-hmm. that have so much self-esteem issues. And, um, you know, it's all made up. Do you know what I mean? Um, because it's usually as well. I'm assuming that they're thinking about, the, mm. you know, they think that this is about me yeah. as well. We're assuming things all the time. We're trying to guess what other people We're are thinking, which is also out. nothing to do with them as well. Mm. But if we recognize, if we you like sit, take even like yoga, um, meditation, it's like you feel this feeling, and then it feels like you're coming home and you're home because mm. you have you you have space in your mind. Mm. We're all just space, and there's yeah, things so filling the space. That space. That's the that's space in the world everything here is just filling a space but the space behind it is actually what it actually is and that's all of us behind it it's hard to explain but I think all of us are off, just the space we're just the space we're the space in which things exist in we're not just sponge I mean? we absorb things exactly, so easily exactly and our brain that's such a beautiful way of looking at the world but Thank I you. think from my from my perspective to start off by trying to break down those beliefs and barriers that you've mm-hmm. been trained to believe like about yourself and your self esteem and everything you kind of have to be like if something happens or like I started off and I was like when I was leaving the house and I was like da 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 everyone's going to think you're ugly everyone's going to everyone hates you blah mm. blah catching the like if this is it doesn't make sense catching, catching the thoughts thought. yeah. and just focusing on that one thought and then relaying it back why did I think like that? Yeah. What's behind that yeah. thought? Why do I think this way? And it's, it's not fucking easy. Mm. Like the way I'm saying it, it sounds like fucking like easy. Energy. But it takes years. Like, it took me three it years to hard. try to get yeah, to this space. Hard. But when you get over that, but it's easy and you catch these thoughts, then I start to think when I see someone behaving a certain way, a bad way or a moral way, mm. I'm like, I wonder why they're doing that. Yes. And then you start to give other people empathy mm. and want to welcome, mm. inte- instead of just thinking, I hate this whole narrative of like, if someone does a bad thing, they're an evil person because yeah. that yeah. doesn't exist. No, I agree. It's completely. like, mm. why did they do that? Yeah. And it's not excusing what they did, mm. but it's and trying it's to usually, have more it's usually, humani- it's humanity. It's usually as well because they think they're somewhere else. It's usually from trauma. They think they're mm. somewhere else because it's, it's always based 
based on when you're a kid and someone goes all of our core beliefs are from our parents getting yeah. it, mm. into us and then when someone says something like I'll be triggered by something really that someone else would be like why are you upset by yeah, that it's random. because when I was a kid my parents go you're stupid or you're lazy mm. or whatever and yeah. I, I think I'm a kid do you yeah. know what I mean yeah, it, I, I, it, yeah. it brings me back there and then mm. I think that which is not real and yeah. I, you know what I mean you're, you're right next, so for example whatever would trigger you if I said that to you right now you would think that you're a kid and you're being like whatever whatever trauma you've been through but you're not you're sitting here with your two friends yeah. outside mm-hmm. do you know what I mean so yeah, it's I like exactly we exist so much in our minds yeah, and it, it tele- teleports yeah. us to places he's you know? brilliant to try oh. to he's explain great. Oh, I love him so, so like, girls I like really need to get ready for what for the music video yeah like, what time is it because you want to get a pint before don't 10 to 2 yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like okay. What a slay though. A a what a slay. good convo. Good <laughs> convo girl. My slay. Let's see if it, you're slaying the house down boots. Hey guys, just want to let everyone know I'm slaying. I'm so glad because I was usually crying in the bathroom because I was so ugly. But then it was just because, you know, when you, you dress feminine, and you're like, oh, I just want to dress masculine. Yeah, I completely get that. Because like, I can't wear makeup when I have roots or else it looks really bad. It looks really weird with my eyebrows. So I have to wear no makeup, if you know what I mean. Okay. And I have to dress masculine. To but look, good. but you're still dressed feminine in a masculine yeah, exactly. way. Yeah, dressing sexy in a masculine way. Completely. Hello, who Hello. is this? <laughs> no, sir, they are good. I just like I have such a good video on my camera roll from like a few years ago. I have like all these crows that are like in a. Some what we're doing. What? Should I tell the audience what we're doing? Oh yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Um, so um, I know someone, and he invited us Love to be in a music video, and he was like, "Oh, you can bring a friend, you'll both get paid and get your free drinks." Like, obviously, we said yes. So um, we're going to the music video soon. And it's gonna be good. It's gonna be, gonna be really good. Yeah. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be serious. Yeah. Like, it's gonna be so good. Like, we're gonna both slay, and everyone's gonna go, "Oh my god, they're the hottest people in the room." 100%. We weren't expecting and how hot they were. We did, like, um, I literally like fucking prophesized this because I'm literally magic, and yeah. we, like I decided we were, like I was like I saw the church and I was like, "Oh, let's go there." And yeah. We, and we lit a candle each, and we prayed, and it was so. Fucking it was so lovely. good. It was so spiritual. It was so nice. Like, that's one of my favorite so moments with you, 100. Yeah, same. Oh, 100. Yeah, so good. And like, uh, I felt so connected to you. I felt yeah. like we were talking to each other. Yeah, it's completely. You know what I, mean? I thought I was just communicating with, like, I held her hand when I did because mm. I'm really romantic. And so cute. Look. You're literally slaying. She looks so pretty. Guys, tell her she's pretty in the comments. That's like three years. Yeah. I've never tried Lido before. So nice. you? Try it. I can't. I think I definitely have. To be is it good? Yeah. Uh, it's really good. It? It's like it's like subdued, but it's like actually a really nice taste. Do you know this? It's really fucking hard to do, but like if I wasn't sick of it as well at the same time, it'd be okay. No, fair enough, actually fair, because I'm actually Isn't that actually I'm fair? not even good at guitar, I'm like, I just have them. Shut up, like, you're like, I'm not even good at guitar. No, I am, 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 I am